Okay, today I'm going to try to make a, a rhombic dodecahedron. Okay, and so this is a design that requires two balloons. And um, what's nice is with a rhombic dodecahedron, you have um, vertices where three balloons meet and where four balloons meet. And so what's nice here is that you can see that in this design, all of the ones that are three are monochromatic or all the same color, and then all the ones that are four are two different colors. Okay, and so diagrammatically, here's what it looks like. Okay, you have uh, the one balloon being traced out here, uh, say one, two, three, four, five, six, and then you go through the center, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then twelve. Okay, and so let's see if I can make it now. Okay, so of course the diagrams are nice and easy to follow. But when you're doing with 3D things, of course, it's a little bit more tricky. And so I'm going to first make five segments. One, two, three, four, five. And now I'm going to make sure they, they don't unwind here by making five segments for the other one. Okay, so there's one... Two, three, four, five. Okay, and so in the middle we have an octagon. And then I'm going to continue on. So there's my octagon with two little stubby bits in the end. Now I'm going to continue on here and go one, two, three. And I make a square here at the end. Okay, and now I do the same thing with the black balloon here. Make a square, but now these two squares are going to interconnect. And so I got to pull the black one through this yellow one, like so. So it goes through the other one, and then they connect up here. And now I've got to bring it back down to form the square, like so. Okay, and I'm going to continue on and then tie it to this one, two, three balloon here. And then all the way over to my initial balloon. Okay, and then with the yellow balloon, I do the same thing. One, two, three. I connect this one and I'm now bringing it around. Okay, a little small maybe. Bring it around through here. Oh, I gotta retie that one. And then around here, the fourth, and then tying it up with the last one. First, I'm gonna see if I can reconnect this guy up again. Up. A little bit of pressure here, so I gotta make sure it doesn't come apart like it did last time. So I'm gonna bring it around. Time twice or three times. Okay, and so now this yellow one does the same sort of thing, ties up at the end. Okay, so now this is what we're left with. Our, we can see our two squares, and now what we have to do is we have to bring uh, one two through the square, our little yellow guy, like so, similarly with the black one, one, two, through the square, and now it's just a matter of finishing it off here with one here, around that spot, and then, like so. Same with the yellow. And ta-da. We end up with another rhombic project. And so some, you may have to massage a little bit to make sure the connections are the right angles. Um, I could have done a little bit better job at making all the segments equal, but essentially 
it's the right geometry. Okay, so you can see nice threes, threes, and fours, um, and of course the more uh, equal the segments you make it, the more it's going to look like a sphere. Okay, so there's a, a rhombic dodecahedron. Now, if if you kind of like the a tighter design, uh, so it looks less hollow on the inside. Instead of using a 260 balloon, you can use um, the 360s. And so here, um, you can see it's the same design with the threes and the, and the four connections. Uh, it's just much tighter, and so it, it's perhaps a little bit more impressive.